All right, guys, continuing the Ace Combat X playthrough. Now we're going to the final mission. To 15, the end of deception. I don't know if it's one or two. Oh, I think two is the one where you go inside the tunnel, right? So I'll probably like do both in this video. Just the part where you go inside the tunnel and all, it's kind of sick. We've advanced within striking distance of Archelon Fortress. Fenrir. The whole reason they started this war is being made right here on this base. It's our duty to wipe this base clear off the map. The HPM has been transported to Archelon Fortress from Cobalt Cave. And it appears it has already been fitted to Fenrir. The weapon works by emitting microwaves from both Fenrir and Archelon Fortress to create an overlapping field effect detonating all fuel caught in between. Fly too slow for too long, and you'll be tracked by the targeting system. If you don't escape quickly, your fuel tank will explode. Thankfully, the targeting system has been impaired by the destruction of the satellite targeting facility at Cobalt Cave. Even with the targeting system impaired, the HPM still poses a threat. Be careful. We've also received intel that the Archelon Fortress is equipped with the same type of shock cannon employed on the Gleipnir. Sir, we've succeeded in freeing Aurelia. The war should have already been over for us. But someone has to put an end to this. Just make sure you come back alive. Damn, dude, no need to cry, man. I'll come back, I guess. We got F22 to wrap this up. Ah, uh, we don't need any of this, of course. The XMAs. The truth behind the Aurelian War. As I wrote down the words that would reveal the truth to the world, I couldn't help but feel uneasy. It said that the only true winners in any war are those who achieve what they intended. Diego Navarro had left Aurelia's capital in defeat, yet his goal of increasing arms exports had been achieved. It seemed as though he may be the true victor in this war. After returning to his homeland, it appears that he now plans to unveil the ultimate weapon before his countrymen. Satellite images of the Archelon Fortress will provide the backdrop for his speech to the world. Such audacity must come from his confidence in this ultimate weapon, Fenrir. There's no such thing as a foolproof plan, I whispered to myself as I watched the sun slowly wheel across the sky overhead. Even the country's hero, still in the heat of battle, hadn't returned home for the celebration of victory. The Southern Cross will ensure Navarro's plan ends in failure. Ain't that right? We shall see. Unless I die or something. Destroy all thin here, advanced attack aircraft. To all aircraft, this is likely to be our final sortie. Our mission will be to wipe Finrear and its production facility, Archelon Fortress, off the map. That's right. The war ends here. This is Aquila 1. Roger that. I won't be able to rest until we take out Navarro. What the? What's that light? Watch out! Fenrir is equipped with a special weapon! Damn it! The light keeps following me! What the hell is this? Aquila 1 suddenly burst into flames! Crap! Scatter now! There it is! Fenrir! The destruction of Fenrir is the only thing that's going to end Yep, so you gotta bother with that. Basically, just keep your speed up. That attack probably came from Fenrir's HPM. Your fuel tank and your sensors will be displayed on the MPG. The MPG will display any increase in fuel temperature. Watch it closely. Oh. Okay. Back online, we should be able to track it. Although the tracking is far from perfect, please bear that in mind when attacking. Try to keep the 
<laughs> oh damn. Oh damn, it's coming up. I gotta focus on the fin here though. That MTD can stay off. Oh god, please. Oh, too late. Too late. I did not see that coming. Oh, I might as well finish this guy. There you go. Enough. Oh, another one is coming up. I never mind that. Why is this one so hard? Come on now, do it now, goddammit. There you go. We didn't play the audio. Right now, of course. Oh, I missed this shaking. Not really. But now we gotta do part two. Alright. This is how it is on the Deception 2. 
which is much cooler. Okay. Oh, oh there you go, got it. Some extra targets here on the side, unknown. Oh yeah, the, our job here is done. Let's get out of here. Oh no, oh god, they're shaking. Not right here, please, for god's sake. Right, and I'm about to, oh my god, this sucks. Jesus. There we go, and then we leave. Then we get a mission accomplished. As it is. <laughs> oh, I just noticed for the first time they make a cross over there at the end. Jeez, I never noticed that. Got them many years so far I've been doing this. Alright, no debriefing. Because that was the last time. See the, the credits. Archelon and Diego Navarro's beloved weapon, Fenrir, were ripped by explosions and engulfed in flames. While these images flashed on the screen, the eyes of the press watched as the enraged citizens of Laysat stormed in on commanding officer Diego Navarro. When the rage of the thousands had finally subsided, it is said that there was nothing left but the shattered remains of Fenrir. It's ironic that the stage for the unveiling of his greatest triumph would be his ultimate undoing. <laughs> when it was all over, I tried to get an interview with the Southern Cross, only to find that he had already returned to Cape Aubrey. He said he's never really liked hot weather. Eugene Solano, the young radio operator, answered sheepishly. Peace had returned to Griswold and it was now covered in the colors of the Christmas season. I went ahead and bought myself a figure of Santa, the kind that I could only find here. Elbert, I thought you couldn't stand the Southern Hemisphere. A fellow reporter said to me as he saw the Santa figure, <laughs> a memento of this Southern Hemisphere of backward seasons. I like the design, I said as I embarrassingly showed it to him. It bore the emblem of the Southern Cross. <laughs> oh yeah, this music right here, this Bossa Nova arranger, oh my god. Classic stuff. Oh yeah, dude. Ace Combat X. This is better than I, I thought it would be from what I remember. For one, the AI was a, a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. And... The aircraft was not as janky as well, controlling the aircraft, at least from what it was, you know? It was actually kind of good. Oh, I recognize some of these names, but yeah. But I really hated the guns, right? I, I love getting up to the target, like an air, like air target, and using my guns, right? I love doing that. But in this game, it, it doesn't feel good doing it, even if you get it right. Even when you get it right and all, it doesn't feel as good, you know? The, the satisfaction from getting a gun kill, it's not really present here, you know, from from this. So that was like the the, the one thing that that bothered me about it. But the 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 missions themselves, there was like one mission that was boring to me. The 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 Nyad one. Every everything else was like pretty good. Right, the dogfight with the last squadron, pretty great. 
great music as well. It, it, is, it is more of a game that gets to the point instead of just, you know, boring you out, you know? And that, for me, that, that's a big plus. I love it that the game does it, does it this way. Uh, and, well, outside of that, that was pretty much it, right? That was a good game. And, oh, I still have to do the, the special missions called Operation X, I believe. You fight a bunch of uh, fictional aircraft and all. But it was good, dude. That's, that's a, definitely a good game. Especially a good Ace Combat game. And for a PSP, that's even better, man. This game deserves a, a good ass 10 out of 10 for sure. Okay, well, let's see what else is gonna show up in here, but I think that's about it. Oh, nice music now. But yeah. Alright, it took us back right into the main menu. So yeah, I'm gonna do Operation X. Oh, I mean, Operation X next. Then we're gonna finish Ace Combat X. So, I'll see you guys on the next and final video of the playthrough.